Peggy 18. Your freedoms can only be protected if democracy thrives. Join us. We are dead set. The motivation we were interested in for our main character and for the DeadSec crew is hacktivism. DeadSec has always been a hacker group that was trying to achieve social objectives. That's central to what our characters are trying to achieve in the game. Hacktivism is something very present in the hacker culture. They want to expose some information they're the only ones having access to. Each character, like Marcus, like Ranch, Sotara, they all represent a way to question how things should be. In this world of hyper-technology, where it's getting so complicated and it's really hard to keep pace, and it's even harder to understand what's within technology, they are the only one that can basically safeguard our daily lives, our security, our privacy. All the corporations that you can find in Watch Dogs 2 and in Watch Dogs in general are already existing in the world. There's nothing we invented. That second is there to expose questionable practices that they see happen in the system. You can tell that there's a completely new type of economy going on called information, and that becomes an interesting way to explore our relationship with technology. We wanted to treat with respect our subject matter, and for that we needed help. Hackers are really open, that they, they share the information. We had a lot of help from the community itself. A hacker is no longer associated with somebody that's uh, in his basement, like with the, the, the dark mood behind his laptop and just trying to break out like a, a firewall or something like that. It's way more larger right now. The hacker culture is like a, a collection of subculture all gathering together. We're working with really smart consultant hackers who validate all our scripts, all of our gameplay mechanics, and suggest to us how we can tweak them to make them match what's possible in the real world. And it goes as far as you know what kind of script could be used, what kind of words should be used, how various characters should talk about it, and how it would actually be possible to do those things in the real world. One element that was super important for us, for uh, the new visual of DeadSec, it was to really embrace the hacker culture. Also the maker aspect of the hacking culture, just like the mask of the wrench, really embraces the DIY aspect. It's all tied together. We really got inspired by the animated GIF culture, the same treatment that we have with the dittering, uh, all the glitch art. We tapped into all the horror pulp from the cartoons from the late 40s. And we really wanted to bring that to the already mysterious and cryptic feeling of Dead Sex. So it's using pop culture elements to the mix and just bring a little bit more fun and colors and attitude to it. Yes, it talks about hacking and technology, but it's also fun. And we wanted to create uh, you know, a game where even though we're talking about serious topics, we're not taking ourselves too seriously. And that's a bit in the nature of uh, the Dead Sex crew also. They always try to have fun, even though they're dealing with really uh, dire situations. Hacking is all about this ability to think outside the box because you see the possibility that goes beyond the preconceived rules. It's about having ideas. When the player is going to grab the controller, the more he's going to understand how these things work, he's going to start having ideas. And that's what a hacker has, ideas on how to fix stuff, break stuff, or mess around with it. The state of mind of Watch Dogs is simply educating people and at the same time having fun with it. These connections can create pretty fun mechanics and uh, that's why we're here for and that's why we chose that subject matters because not only it's interesting and it's relevant but it's also pretty fun to mess around with. I'm interested in, in hackers saying that we've respected the culture that we're exploring but you know I'm mostly interested in them saying they had fun playing the game. <laughs> <laughs>